In this SketchUp tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple quick tips. One, to delete these axes, the blue, green, and red. And the other, how to start changing the background color. Its standard color is green like the grass, and then you have a bluish color like the sky. Once you have already built your building, and put all of the dimensions in, whatever they may be, you no longer need to rely on these axes lines. Until you have finished all of the building, you should keep the axes lines. But once you've finished and you want to get ready to print it out to have a final copy, you don't want all of these lines in there any longer. To get rid of them, you can go to View and then hit that button that says Axes. It should currently be checked on your computer. When you click on it, it will uncheck it and you can see the Axes lines disappeared. To get them back, you would go to View, Axes, and you can see that grid reappear. Appear. For right now, I'm going to leave it off. The second tip I'm going to show you is how to start changing that background color. To do this, you're going to go to the heading that says Window. Click on Window and zoom down to where it says Fog. And click on Fog. You're going to see this window appear. If I click Display Fog, you're going to see it starts fading out. So I can move the arrows and you can see the building is harder and harder to see if I move them the other way that's like putting the fog in the distance so the back starts to look a little bit different. I obviously want to be able to see your building very well so you would never want fog like that. So let's pull it all the way over and so the fog is in the distance it starts changing the background color. If you see this box that is checked use background color. If I uncheck that box, I can now click on this panel that's green. And now I can find a new color that I really like. And you can start playing around and looking at other uh, colors in here. I'm going to look at vegetation and say, oh, I like this color. Okay, it creates that sort of look. Make sure that your dimensions are visible and that I can see all of the different parts of your building. You want that is the most important part. So if you can't, then you shouldn't change the background color. Um, I can click on crayons and I can see those colors. You want to find something that looks somewhat realistic. Uh, it shouldn't look like a drawing. So maybe I'll just click stone. Um, and I can click back here. I, I think that's a nice look. Once again, you can see how foggy that is. We want to be able to see the building very clearly. When you're done, you can just close these windows. So that is a way that you can delete the axes and start changing your background color so that uh, we can get ready to print.